Hi everyone, Heather here with astrologywithheather.com and I am back with another weekly forecast. This one is for Monday, August 17th, all the way through to Sunday, August 23rd of 2020. And this is a very important week in the astrology for those of us who want to get something done. <laughs> we have a very powerful new moon in the sign of Leo, super optimistic, super generous, super passionate, and it's making a beautiful trine with Mars, which has been causing us all sorts of problems in the sign of Aries squaring off to that Capricorn stellium between Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn. And so while we have a lot of this energy of like roadblocks and delays and just having to be patient and having to um, be able to deal with like having to, in, to endure a lot, right? We have to kind of wait. We have to put in a lot of the legwork. We have to take our time. We have to do things the right way. Well, this new moon gives us a push. It gives us a burst of energy that allows us to initiate whatever our ambitions are right now, whatever we're passionate about. And again, this is a Leo energy, so it brings in a level of optimism that's needed in order to energize us and propel us forward into whatever it is we want to accomplish. And so this is a really important, really powerful week. Um, it's one of the few weeks in the next couple of months where we have that energy of Mars squaring to the Capricorn planets heavily mitigated because we have both the sun and moon and mercury conjunct um, in the sign of Leo forming that trine. It's a very powerful energy where that martial energy, that need to initiate, that need to do something, that need to access our passion and our will in order to create something new, it's going to be more fulfilled this week. And so if there's something you've been really wanting to get started on, this new moon is the time to set those intentions and to start getting the ball rolling. Normally I wouldn't say that with a new moon because it's mostly just a time of seeding intentions and sitting back and sort of uh, planning and preparing and going inward and all of that. This is still that. This is a great time to figure out what you wanna accomplish over these next few months while Mars is in the sign of Aries and while we're having that Mars retrograde, I highly recommend doing that planning now because you're going to be able to be more optimistic and ambitious and driven to see things more clearly. Uh, but this is not the time to procrastinate. This is a time to make moves, to get things going. If there, And I highly recommend focusing on one thing. With that Pluto energy involved, that Pluto-Jupiter conjunction involved, we can't scatter our, our focus on a bunch of different random things. This is a time where you need to focus on one really important thing that you feel most passionate about, most driven toward, and to do that thing, get it going this week. And so, I'm gonna talk about what areas are going to be most uh, benefited in each of your lives when we go through the forecast for all 12 signs, but before I do, I have a couple of really important quick announcements. And so the first one being that I am doing a huge sale on my foundational astrology course. So if you are a beginner or even somebody who's been dabbling with studying astrology, but you wanna get a really strong foundation for the basics and even some of the intermediate concepts in astrology so you could understand your own chart better and the charts of other people much better, um, that is, now being offered at a discounted rate until Monday. And so you can find that down in the description below, all the information, all the details, and um, the coupon code <laughs> that you'll need to get an extra 30% discount. Um, and that's on top of, I've already reduced the price. So you're gonna get this like at a huge deal. And this is a foundation for all of my other courses and anything that you really wanna learn in astrology. And so I'm putting this on sale because I'm doing some additional courses. And so this is also the last few days where you can pre-order my house rulerships course. House rulerships are the key to understanding your chart and the charts of others and even making predictions in astrology. And so if you're not using house rulerships, you are missing out. So I have created a really um, comprehensive four week program to really walk you through everything you need to know from start to finish to use house rulerships in your own astrology practice, whether it's so you can become your own astrologer or so that way you can help other people uh, navigate their experience. And so that link is down in the description below and um, make sure you're following me on Instagram if you're not already doing so. I'm posting lots of different updates because there's a lot going on in the astrology and so my Instagram, Instagram handle is at astrology with Heather and so you can find me on there if you want to keep up to, to date with what's going on throughout the entire week um, in addition to watching these videos. So you'll get little reminders of what's happening and how to work with the energy. All right. And so that being said, I'm going to begin, of course, ooh, that's not Aries. 
I'm going to begin with Aries and not Gemini. Sorry, Geminis. <laughs> But I'm going to begin my weekly forecast and we're going to start looking at um, Aries and Aries rising and the fire signs, including Aries, are going to be impacted by this really nice, really positive burst of energy that's going to get some momentum going much more strongly than all of the other signs. And so even though Aries has been taking a hit with that Mars retrograde going back and forth, back and forth, this frustrated energy where it's like you want to push forward or you just don't have the motivation, you just don't have the energy, or there's literal blockages coming in from an external source, you're going to have an alleviation from that this week. So it's time to get moving. It's time to start something. And it's time to start something that you are truly and deeply passionate about. This isn't a time to waste um, your energy on boring things or doing what you're told or doing what you feel like you're supposed to do. This is about doing the things that you love to do because you love to do them and initiating and engaging with that energy. So tapping into your hobbies, your interests, the things that you love to do because you love to do them and engaging in those types of things, in those topics, in those hobbies, in those interests, very intentionally and getting something going that you are very passionate about and that feels fun to you, that brings you joy. This could also be you initiating an important project related to children or childcare or your own children in some way um, where you feel much more motivated to jump in and, and start something new in that area. Um, there could be issues with communication with your children or involving children or childcare, or there could be some sort of nervous energy around that. And it, it could be because a lot of people are sending their kids back to school right now or deciding if they're going to send their kids back to school right now. If that's you, um, that's going to, you'll, you'll be able to make a decision and stick with it and initiate and engage with that energy this week. And so that's going to be an important part of this as well. This is also for Aries, a very good week for romance, for sexuality, for connecting with a partner on a physical level. So keep that in mind this week if you have that opportunity. All right, and then for Taurus and for Taurus rising. So for you guys, this uh, new moon energy is happening actually in your fourth house, which is the house of home, family, and property. There's something that has been kind of you may be weighing on you on a subconscious level. You've been kind of dealing with having to sort of take a look at your belief systems about God, the universe, the world around you, the ideas and ideals that you hold true, and you're having to reconstruct these things and, and kind of change your vantage point and let go of dogmatic beliefs and ideas and things like that. That's been a part of this process. Um, and so that's been a focus for a while, but right now it's kind of more of a focus on taking this internal frustration and channeling it into something. This is a great time for you to find new opportunities to do something at home or to better your home environment. Um, this is a great time to do something really fun and really passionate and really exciting with your family or the people around you in your home. This would be a great time for initiating a renovation project if you have to do it because Mars will be going retrograde soon. Small renovation project. Or for initiating or engaging in something brand new that's going to benefit your family in some way that you feel excited and lit up and motivated to do. Um, initiating now will have a lot of benefits versus waiting a couple of weeks. And this is, again, not the time to procrastinate on um, important projects involving the home or your family or your property, or even maybe making some sort of move. All right. And then for Gemini and for Gemini rising. So for you guys, this energy of the new moon is actually happening in your third house, which is the house of neighbors in your neighborhood. It's also the house of community, siblings, extended family members, short distance travel, vehicles, uh, marketing, communication, writing, education, so many things and so many areas of opportunity this week. And so if you're wanting to engage in initiating something new in any of those areas I just mentioned, now is the time that you have the green light to do it. And now is the time to do maybe some sort of crowdfunding or um, get some sort of community involvement or to recruit your friends and your networks to help you to accomplish whatever you want to accomplish, whether that's initiating a new course whether that's writing a book, whether, whether that's starting a new marketing campaign through social media or engaging with an audience, whether that's buying a vehicle, maybe your friends are selling something or they have a lead for you, whether that's taking a short trip. This would be if you're, if it's available to you, I know in a lot of places right now, especially from what I'm hearing in like Australia and other countries, 
it's not necessarily available to you. So if it isn't, that's okay. This could be a mental adventure. This could be you connecting via the internet with your social networks. But if you're able to take a short trip and you're able to connect with people that you love and that help you to feel inspired and optimistic and passionate, this is a great time for that. All right, and then for Cancer and for Cancer Rising. So for you guys, this energy is happening in your second house, which is the house of money. <laughs> so if there's a new financial endeavor that you've been wanting to initiate or some major purchase that you've been holding out on or um, waiting sort of patiently on, maybe because there's been some issues or frustrations or lack of certainty around your work, especially your career, or maybe issues with your bosses um, or issues with business partners, Partnerships, issues in partnership. There's something here that's been stalling you out from doing something or making a big move financially. This could be searching for a new job. This could be, you know, starting a business. This could be um, investing in some way, or this could be a major purchase or a major sale of some sort of asset of yours. If that's the case, and you've been sort of waiting on it and kind of playing with that idea, now's the time to make some moves. So set your intentions this full moon for anything and everything that has to do with finances, material possessions possessions and your enjoyment of those things. For Leo and for Leo rising. So for you guys, this uh, full moon, or sorry, new moon energy, I think I said full moon a couple of times in this forecast already. I apologize. Sometimes I do that. Um, but so anyway, the Leo new moon is happening in your sign. And especially if it's your birthday this week, happy birthday, Leo. This is a year of powerful new beginnings for you where you're going to be letting go of a lot that no longer serves you that you've been wanting to let go of. And you're going to be having a fresh start in so many areas and initiating things things that might not fully come to fruition this year or produce big results, but there are things that in future cycles, you're going to look back on this solar cycle and be like, wow, that's when everything started. And I'm so glad for that. And you're going to have such motivation this year. And even if you're not a Leo um, sun sign who's having your birthday, Leo rising, Leo moon, Leo suns, all of you this week, this is a time for you to initiate whatever you want to do based on your self-interest, your passions, the things that you love and that are connected with your heart. Um, again, you know, for in general, for a lot of people, this could be something involving your passions, your creativity, your hobbies, your interests, romance, um, or connections with children. For you, this could be an educational pursuit that you've been kind of dwelling on or waiting on or procrastinating on in some way, or you've been receiving blockages. It could be that you want to continue your education in order to further your development and create a better circumstance for yourself in your work on a day-to-day -day basis. If that's the case, now is a great time. Now is a great time to set those intentions, get the ball rolling. Even if you don't fully initiate right now, starting something related to this, or it could be that you want to teach, you want to travel. There's some sort of important connection coming in involving a foreign country or people outside of your, of your country in general, just connect connections with people in foreign countries. It could even be a new teacher comes in and you're like, should I trust this person? Should I, is this the right time to get involved with this and to learn something new? I would say for most of you, yes. All right, so for Virgo and for Virgo rising, so for you guys, this new moon energy is super, super exciting um, in your 12th house though. <laughs> and so for you, this is a little bit hidden. This could be um, a lot of really powerful things. This is going to be a powerful time for you to turn inward. This is going to be a powerful time for you to reflect on what you're truly and deeply passionate about, what lights you up, what gets your fire going, right? What gets you motivated to take action and what actions you want to take and what things you want to be working on on into the future in these next few months. This is a time more for rest, but it's like active rest. It's like you're taking time out from the world so you can do an activity that's going to help you to understand your reality better. And it's going to help you to understand how to channel your energy more effectively. This would be a great time to start practicing a new spiritual discipline or to do some sort of active spiritual retreat or some sort of active retreat from the world. This would be a great time for writing um, or for journaling and, and things of that nature. So it's 
it, do, it does have some powerful positive energy for Virgos, but it's going to be more internalized and externalized. Um, but this could be if there's something that you wanted to initiate or make moves on or uh, create involving joint finances or a loan or debt or other people's money in some way. Now's a time where I think that you could initiate these things behind the scenes, though, kind of do it in secret. <laughs> Um, and maybe just start doing some investigation around your financial plans for the future. And I think that that could actually be very fruitful for Virgos. All right. And for Libra and for Libra rising. So for you guys, this energy is happening in your 11th house, which is the house of friends, social networks, people you surround yourself with by choice. And so this is a great time to connect with your friends, to connect with your networks. Even if you have to do so at a distance, this is an important time to make really strong lasting connections. This is a time where you could initiate a new partnership, a new collaboration. And if you are romantically involved and there's been some conflict or some difficulty there, this is a time where you can get out there and reignite those passions in a very positive way and channel that positively. Um, but this is a great time for all group activities, for all social activities. Uh, this would be a great time if you're single to kind of put yourself out there to meet someone either via the internet or in real life uh, because something could come up and you could have a passionate affair or even something that could last a little longer. So, um, yeah, great week for that. Great week to reach out to your friends and to connect with people. It's a social week for Libra. All right. And then for Scorpio, for Scorpio rising, this energy of the new moon in the sign of Leo is happening in your 10th house. This is the house of career and public reputation. There's something that you've been working on pushing into or moving into or wanting to initiate involving your, uh, work, your health or your daily routines, more likely um, your work routines. You probably have a lot of all of these right now. I, I know um, my fellow Scorpio risings. <laughs> You've got health on your mind, you've got work, you've got your daily habits on your mind. And so th this is specific, I would say more so to a work-related project. If there's something that you wanna get going on related to your work, to your career, to your public reputation, that's gonna improve your day-to-day -day routines and your day-to-day -day habits when it comes to what you have to do for your work, or if it's gonna allow you more time and more space to focus on your health and your other routines, the things that you're really passionate about outside of your work, now's the time that you can do it. Um, um, also, if you wanted to initiate something that involves like a new service or a new way that you can serve and help other people through your work, now's the time that that would be possible as well. But this is a, an important time to set intentions for your career goals and plans and to do something smaller on a day-to-day -day level to start getting the ball rolling with those bigger plans and goals. All right. And then Sagittarius and Sagittarius rising. So for you guys, Mars is in the fifth house, which is the house of joy, and um, it's the house of play and fun, and there's been some stifling there. There's been some tension in that area where you maybe haven't been feeling connected to your joy. You haven't been feeling connected to the things that you love to do. You haven't been feeling connected romantically. Uh, this is going to change, and I think that this will change by you branching out and starting something new. This could be something new related to learning something new, a new education program that you want to engage with, that you want to learn from, finding a new teacher, or maybe even starting a new educational pursuit in terms of you teaching something. This could be a good time to publish something or put something out there in terms of information. This could be a great time to ignite your passions and to have more fun and to play uh, through travel, right? This could be a great time if you're able to travel, if you're able to kind of just get away for a short little break, this would be a great time for that. And especially if you are a Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising at the end degrees, I would say anywhere from 20 to 30 degrees, really, you're going to be feeling this very, very strongly in a very positive way. And so you're just going to be feel, feeling lit up and passionate to do something that you believe in, to do something that you feels good to you, to do something that lights you up and that really drives you and you're just going to be feeling so ambitious. So this is a great week for you to really initiate anything, anything that serves you in some way or anything that's connected to your needs and your self-interest. Now's the time to launch in and to do it. If money's been a concern, this is a week where it might not be as much of a concern so you can jump in. 
All right, and then for Capricorn and for Capricorn rising. So for you guys, uh, this energy is happening in your eighth house with the new moon. This is a new start for you financially. This could bring in something that could help you or benefit you in terms of your home, your family, your property, your family connections, your family dynamic. Um, this is you being able to initiate something in that area financially. So this could be you making a financial investment in a property and just finally making the jump. Maybe there's been some hesitation or some difficulty there. Maybe you need to renovate or take action on something in your home, but you haven't figured out where the finances are going to come from. This is a week where you can find that money. You can figure out uh, what you're going to do. This could be a new beginning involving joint finances. Your partner might bring in more resources or something could change in a positive way that could drive you to change something involving your family dynamic or your home. Um, this is a great time to start kind of seeding the intention for making investments or for uh, figuring out things involving inheritance or a will or life insurance or insurance policies in general. This is a time where if that's something that you haven't gotten squared away, you can think about initiating or getting your ducks in a row in those areas. Um, this is also a time where if you have any past trauma related to your family or your early childhood or early upbringing, this is a time where you can really set your intentions on deep healing, deep healing from the inside out on those topics, and you can really accomplish a lot. So um, this would be a great time to engage in talk therapy or psychotherapy or to maybe talk it out with somebody who you trust, you know, is going to be loyal and who's going to keep things to themselves, that type of thing. Um, it's a great healing week for Capricorns. And then for Aquarius and Aquarius rising. So for you guys, uh, this energy is happening in your seventh house. So this is a good time for romance. This is a great time to initiate something new involving your connections with other people. Um, you know, this could be a, a time to engage in partnership or to collaborate or connect with somebody in your community. If there's a conversation you've been really needing to have, especially one-on-one -on -one in partnership in your marriage partnership or um, your any sort of committed relationship or partnership or a business partner, partnership um, or a friendship, if there's like a hard conversation that you've been delaying or you've been procrastinating on having and you're afraid of how it's going to go, now's a time where you can actually engage in that and I think it'll go quite well for you. So, um, but this is a great time if you want to initiate something in partnership, right? So doing something together with somebody else, now's the time to do it. This is also a great time for negotiations, uh, contracts, agreements, things like that, that might be a little dicey otherwise. Now is a week where if you need to do something like that, you can do it. You can sign on the dotted line, you can negotiate, and it'll be um, in your favor, but also I think in the other person's favor as well. And finally, Pisces and Pisces rising. So for you guys, this energy of the new moon is happening in your sixth house, which is the house of health and daily routines and service. This is a great time to initiate something involving your work routines or a new work project, or maybe engage in um, a new form of relationship with your coworkers or bring something up that there's something here where you could initiate something in your workplace that could bring in more resources in the short term. So it's like a short burst of money coming in, but that will feed the fuel for long-term gains and long-term financial stability um, into the future. So there's something here. So if there's something you've been wanting to bring up in your workplace, if there's something you want to you've been wanting to initiate that's going to impact your day-to-day -day work habits and routines, um, I would say this is the time to do it and it could be financially viable for you or it could bring in a short little burst of like extra finances in some way or maybe you have to invest in something that's going to create a better situation for yourself on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of your health or in terms of your work routines. Maybe you want to redo your office or get a fancy ergonomic chair or you know you want to just do something with your workspace that's going to cost a little bit of money but it's going to be a better setup in the long term and it might improve your health. That would be a great way to use this energy. Um, um, but now's a time where if you've been thinking about your health, if you've been thinking about engaging in a new nutritional routine or a new exercise program, now's the time to do it. And if there's something that you want to do in service of other people, um, now's a time where you can 
create the finances for that or get the financial backing you might need to make that happen. And so all of these things are possibilities. There's there's good energy and good opportunities, and you're gonna feel really optimistic when it comes to your work this week. You're gonna feel really optimistic when it comes to paying that extra money for that new um, supplement or that new health device or whatever it is that you maybe wanna invest in for your health. This would be a great time for a new like workout routine too. With that Mars energy, it's like you are motivated. So if you wanna like, like start, you know, doing whatever it is that you want to do, like a new yoga class, a new um, workout routine, you want to start lifting weights, um, and you want to actually stick with it, now is a time where you could actually set that intention and it's going to feel exciting. Make sure it's something you're passionate and you feel excited about though. So if it's a workout routine, make sure it's connected with your passions and you feel like lit up when you think about it, as opposed to feeling like, oh God, that's terrible and monotonous and routine and blah, blah, blah. Like if it feels like that, it's not, that's not the thing. The thing is something that's going to feel exciting to you. So that's what's going on for Pisces and for all 12 signs. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends if you feel like they might benefit from some of this information because we're all going through a lot right now and this is a great week to take hold of some opportunities. So I want everyone to be able to do that. Um, oh, and by the way, if you haven't already done so, I do have my fall electional guide ready for you guys, which goes through the energy of the entire fall and so you can harness some of the good times like right now, which was a time Time period that I highlighted in my summer electional guide, which is also discounted right now, heavily discounted because we're almost done with summer. Um, and yeah, so anyway, that's there for you as a resource for the fall as well. I will see you guys next week and thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone.